The Elder Story Once, long ago, on a windy and wild afternoon, just as the sun was about to set, three brothers and their hunting dogs went out to catch a rabbit for their mother's pot for their supper. She called to them, Now don't be going on this night near the wild woods, my boys, and beware of the elder witch, for it doesn't take much to anger her if you don't give her due respect. Now just as they came to the edge of the dark wood, a rabbit ran across their path and the dogs made chase straight into the woods. Without thinking, the boys followed the dog's tracks, whistling and calling, Bran! Call! Meg! But the dog's noses down and ears alert were at the scent and weren't for being called back. The boys had just to follow. Step by step took them deeper and deeper into the heart of the dark woods and no sight nor sound of the dogs came. Oh, our mother's going to be, isn't going to be pleased with us losing the dogs and no rabbit to show for it either. What shall we do? said one of the brothers. What we need is a whistle to call them, said another. And without a thought, he snapped off a branch from an elder tree and began to hollow it to make a whistle, just as his father had showed him. But he hadn't thought to ask the elder mother's permission. And now he was regretting it. For there she stood, larger than life, green-skinned and ancient as the hills on which she stood. By her side, she held the boy's three hounds. Ah, you should have thought to ask before you took one of my bows. If you bring me three gifts, a magical whistle from the golden elder tree, the heart of a boar, and finally a prince who knows how to make me young again, then maybe I will think of giving your hounds back. And where will you find these gifts? Hmm? Ha ha, that's for me to know and you to find out. Now, you have until the sun rises to complete this quest. And the old Kialich disappeared into the trunk of the elder tree and was gone from sight. The boys walked until the dark veil of night was wrapped about them. And in the darkness, they heard the most beautiful music like the birds of the air were singing all together. And so the boys walked towards the sound and saw in front of them a golden elder tree. And in its boughs a red squirrel playing a golden whistle. Uh, we seek the golden whistle for the elder witch, they said. Well, if you can solve this riddle, you may have it. Riddle me re, riddle me rye, what am I? I am always restless and always free. I bang on doors and sway the trees. The wind. The wind! shouted the boys, and the whistle was theirs for the taking. On they journeyed until they came to a cave. Thinking that they might sleep safely in here for a spell, they went deeper and deeper down a long tunnel. And when they reached the end of the tunnel, they found a beautiful carved wooden box, and in that box was the heart of the great boar of Celadon. But a great dark spider held it in her web. Knowing that they had found their second prize, they blew the golden whistle, and the spider was lulled by its sweet music. The boys snatched the box from her grasp and ran as swift as the north wind away from the cave. And on they tramped their sore feet and their hearts weary until they came to a deep chasm. Across its waters they spied a great castle. There a prince was held captive by a giant and it was that prince that they searched for and must take back to the old elder witch. They blew the golden whistle and the giant was lulled to sleep and the prince ran from his prison crossing the river by a bridge of a single hair. The prince was so thankful to the boys that he came along with them as they retraced their tracks to the place where the elder tree stood. 
and one of the brothers blew the golden whistle, and the old Khalik appeared. The prince bowed, and then put his hand in his pocket and drew out a cluster of fragrant white flowers, elder blossoms, and offered them to the elder mother. And in the twinkling of an eye, and in the twinkling of an eye, she became young and bonny with white blossoms adorning her dress and crowning her head. You have done well, boys. You are free to take your dogs in exchange for these three gifts. But always remember, the elder tree mother, for our flowers, berries and bark can cure, cure many human illnesses and misuse can bring bad luck. The boys promised to always remember the elder mother's generosity, and off they and their hounds went, for they still had to catch a rabbit for their mother's pot for her supper. And finally they arrived home, and what a tale they had to share that night.